Marcus R. Xavier. Mr. X. How's it going? Anything? Yeah. But I need to get back to the New Age store. Why? This... This is the old woman in my dreams. I think they can help me with something. I'm just gonna print this out first. Okay. Look, I feel like I'm dragging you into this. You really don't have to come. Hey, are you all right? You're sweating. I'm fine. Uh, look, I'm with you on this one, okay? I just, God knows you don't want to do this on your own. Yeah, but this is only getting more dangerous. All the more reason to make sure there's someone there for you. Okay. Do you know the name Amara Xavier? Here, I have a picture of her. Is this a joke? Are you kidding me? No, not at all. I don't think you actually understand exactly what can happen. Never mind, most importantly, what you could be bringing here. Amaria Xavier is not some fairy tale myth with a happy ending, okay? She's some serious shit. And every one of these books describe the terror she inflicted in everyone she knew when she was alive. And not just her, but her husband and his mistress. Shit. So what do I do? What do you do? Um, I don't know. Pick a god to pray to? I don't even know where to start. Okay, uh, Amara, she was infamous in Deep Creek Mountain, the town she lived in. Uh, in the late 1800s. Her and her husband, they lived in a cabin completely removed from the town. And there are documented details on how they used to practice certain types of black magic. And where the problems really occurred? Her husband, he took up a mistress. Amara found out and she lost her goddamn mind. The mistress went missing and her husband, he died of a mysterious snake bite a few days later. She murdered the both of them. Well, yeah, that's the belief. But nobody could prove anything, so she was never convicted. Were there any children? There is one book that documents sh she had a child, but he drowned at the age of seven. And Amara, were, were there any accounts of what she did after he died? She was alone. She had no children, no husband. She had to make a living for herself. She knew how to connect with the spirit world, so she charged people to do so. driveway.
you to stay away from it. Why didn't you listen to me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? You have to bury that thing. Have you seen Lindsay? It's going to destroy you and everyone we know. Allison. I'm telling you, Madison. Everybody is in danger. Wait, wait. How did you get into the house? Madison. Don't be afraid of me. I'm here only because I want to help you. It's not too late for you. With Lindsay. Why? What's going to happen to Lindsay? It's already happening. If you really want to save her, you know what you have to do. Do what you have to do. Get rid of it. attack. You all right? No. Who were you just talking to up there? Allison. You didn't see her? No. I, I mean, I heard you talking to somebody, but I didn't see you talking to somebody. Hello? Dan, hey. Sorry to bother you. Um, you know when Allison was over the other night? Allison? Yeah. Allison what? Clayton? Yes, Allison Clayton. You saw her too, right? Madison. You saw her too, right? Dan, please say you saw her. I'm going crazy. Madison, I'm sorry. I know you were friends with her. I thought you knew about what happened. But you did see her. You were standing right no, next to her. I didn't see her. There were no survivors. It was all over the news last year. There's no way Allison could have been at your house. We need to go. Hey, where about Lindsay? I can't find her. I need to find answers. I know this is where we need to go. You keep looking at back there. Everything's pointing us in this direction. 